good afternoon we'll be doing chapter 4 method of deduction part 1 what do you understand by deductive proof the method of deductive proof consists in deducing the conclusion of an argument from its premises by a sequence of elementary valid arguments which are called rules of inference so they are proofs which in which we deduce the conclusion with the help of some rules they are called the rules of inference it is a complex and short term proof of validity but requires intelligence it can establish the validity of deductive argument only the deductive proof is of three types that is direct deductive proof which you will be studying this year conditional proof and indirect proof which you will be studying next year direct deductive proof the method of direct deductive proof consists in deducing the conclusion of an argument directly from its premises by a sequence of valid arguments without taking any assumption following other steps involved in the construction of formal proof of validity first write down the premises in order and number them second write down the conclusion on the line where the last premise is written third separate it from the premise by slanting line as shown below first premise second premise third premise slanting line therefore conclusion deduce the conclusion from the premises by applying the rules of inference along with the rules based on the rules rules of replacement note before arriving at the conclusion one may have to arrive at several statements which are to be numbered after the premises and justification for each statement should be written on the right hand side of the statement for the further proof the justification consists in stating the number of step or steps from which the statement is derived and rule applied to derive it once the conclusion is derived from the premises the proof is complete and the validity of argument is established now we come to the rules of inference they are called elementary valid argument forms they can be applied only for the whole statement and not to the part of the statement they are nine in numbers they are as follows the rule of modus ponens the rule of modus tollens the rule of hypothetical syllogism the rule of disjunctive syllogism the rule of constructive dilemma the rule of destructive dilemma the rule of conjunction the rule of simplification and the rule of addition this all we will be doing in detail in the next session thank you